So today we're taking a look at a service which I'm sure a lot of you know about, but I'm also sure a lot of you don't know about and you probably don't use one currently. And that is a VPN service. It offers a bunch of different benefits and one benefit which I think everybody uses it for. Now, I personally use a VPN every single day and the one I'm using now is NordVPN. I've been using them for a while. So when they did reach out and ask if we want to collab on a video together, I thought, why not? So in today's video, we're going to go through NordVPN. It's different features, which I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but I will make sure to list them here so it's perfectly visible for everyone. And I'll try to leave chapters in the video as well. So that way you can go to each specific section you want. But I would advise you watch the whole thing, obviously. Now, I'm going to try and explain every section as easy and as simple as possible without getting too technical, just so it's nice and easy for everybody to understand. And not only that, but NordVPN actually offered a secret deal for the viewers of the video and viewers of the channel, which is going to be shown on screen now if you follow the link. And there will be the link in the description box below in comments. You're going to get two years plus an extra four months for free at a very good price. Not only that, but it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So even if it's something you want to try, if you're not completely satisfied, you can always cancel before them 30 days, get your money back, and it's no risk. Before we get into the video, though, if it's your first time here, my name is Almir, aka Ms. Tech. On this channel, we make tech simple. If I do earn your subscription, there's a subscribe button down below. I would appreciate you subscribing, join the community. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions about the video. I'm sure there's going to be something I don't answer and you're going to want to know. So if you let me know in the comments, I'll be sure to try and answer it, either me or somebody else. And like the video if you do end up liking it. Share it with your friends and family if they are interested in tech content that's on my channel or even just a VPN, which is this specific video. So yeah, let's get into an old VPN video and check out all its different features. So feature number one, enhanced online privacy. Now I think that's something we could all benefit from. And NordVPN actually hides your IP address and it encrypts your online traffic, making it very difficult for ISPs, hackers and websites to track your online activity. So feature number two is public Wi-Fi use. And let's face it, we've all done this at one point in time. We've connected to a public Wi-Fi, whether it be a cafe or an airport. But let's face it, their, their security systems are not that secure. And something you may be susceptible to if you don't have a VPN is a man in the middle attack, which I'll explain what it is just one second. Luckily with NordVPN, when I'm connected, if I connect to these public Wi-Fi networks, all my data is encrypted. So using that encryption, these criminals or cyber criminals can't get access to what I'm seeing or any of the information I'm providing online when I'm connected to these networks. Now, what is a man in the middle attack? Let's take this for example. You go to your favorite cafe or airport and you say, let me connect to this Wi-Fi network. It says cafe free Wi-Fi. So why not? It seems pretty safe, doesn't it? Well, unfortunately, that Wi-Fi network could either be two things. It could be a fake network created by the criminal to make it seem like the cafe's own Wi-Fi used to intercept your data, or it could actually be the cafe's own Wi-Fi network, but the criminal has managed to put themselves in the middle of the connection between you and the actual cafe, hence the man in the middle. Now, when you're browsing the web using this connection, thinking everything's happy, putting in your bank passwords, your email passwords, and thinking everything is safe, the criminal is actually being able to see all this and either hack you on the spot or hack you at a later date. Luckily, using a VPN service, your data will be encrypted so the criminal can't see anything you're doing or even gain connection to your device, which is a very good thing. It's kind of scary that they can do this just over a public Wi-Fi, something that everybody uses. But using a VPN, you should be pretty safe. Feature number three is probably the most popular thing well, that I personally think that people are using VPNs for, and that is accessing geo-locked content. Say, for example, we know that Netflix has different kinds of content depending on what region you're in or different countries you're in. And sometimes you go abroad and you want access to content from the country you came from. So say, for example, you go from UK to America, and when you log into Netflix, you're just going to get American Netflix, but you want to gain access to UK Netflix. Well, if you go into your VPN, going onto the UK server, will then allow you to log into your Netflix and watch the UK Netflix stuff and vice versa. So it's a way where you can either be in the UK and watch American Netflix or go into America, watch UK Netflix and not just them two countries, but the whole list of countries available on the server. So it gives you a lot more options to what you want to watch depending on where you are, which I think is a very popular thing for VPN services. Let me know if you do that in the comments box below because I know I definitely do. 
So feature number four is protection from ads or malware. Now using the threat protection feature, NordVPN is actually gonna block intrusive ads, malicious websites, and trackers, which should give you a safer online browsing experience as well as a faster one. All you have to do is go into the settings, enable Threat Protection Pro, and then when you're browsing the web, if you manage to stumble into a fake website before you put in your details, NordVPN will notify you to let you know that this is not real and to not put your details in. Now also what they do, which I think is gonna be very useful for people out there, is oftentimes if you download a malicious file or that has malware attached, it becomes too late by the time you notice because you try and open the file, it installs that malware onto the system, and then you're gonna have a headache trying to remove it. What NordVPN does is it scans downloaded files, and as soon as it notices if it's got malicious software in it or it's got malware attached, it deletes the file before it manages to access your device or cause any damage. Also with NordVPN Threat Protection Pro, even without having a VPN connected to a specific server, it's gonna block trackers from knowing who you are, where you live, what you wanna do, or what you wanna buy. So it's very good for browsing the web, as you know you're not gonna be tracked. Feature number five is a great one, no logging of your activity. So NordVPN actually runs on a no logs policy, which means any of your browsing history, connection timestamps, IP addresses, none of that is stored anywhere, which is great for those of you who value your privacy. And I think that's the majority of us. So feature number six is faster online streaming and gaming. Now, those of you who have used VPNs before, you must know that not all of them have the best servers. So although you get that protection, it does dramatically reduce the speed that you're able to get. Now, luckily NordVPN has thousands of high speed servers out there all around the world. And that results in faster streaming of videos and reduced lag if you're playing online games, which I think we can all benefit from. Not only that, but it is great for ISP throttling to give you the best speed possible and the protection that you want. Feature number seven is multiple device protection. So just using one NordVPN subscription, you can technically connect up to 10 different devices, whether it be a phone, tablet, PC, router. So you can connect the whole family onto that one NordVPN subscription, making sure everybody is safe when they're browsing online or downloading files, or they wanna access content from a different region. So feature number eight, bypassing censorship. I haven't personally used this, but Certain countries out there do block certain things, whether it be social media platforms or websites. And with NordVPN, you can bypass these censorships, connect to a different server somewhere else, and then have access to these websites or social media platforms, allowing you the freedom to do what you want. So feature number nine is dark web monitor. And if you're not sure what the dark web is, essentially it's a part of the web where there's a lot of criminal activity happening. And with NordVPN's dark web monitor, it will notify you of any of your information has been found to be leaked on the dark web, whether it be personal information or login credentials, so you can act fast and take care of it before any damage is actually done, whether it be losing access to your accounts or losing money from your bank. So feature number 10 is called split tunneling and it's pretty cool, available on Windows and Android. So what this allows you to do is select which of your apps are gonna go through the VPN and which are not which is quite cool if you want to use VPN, for example, Netflix to watch different locational content while browsing your local web and not having a VPN on that. So it gives you full control of what you want to have access to with, through the VPN and what you don't want to have access to through the VPN, which can be changed at any time. Feature number 11 is 24 seven customer support. So if you have any issues with NordVPN, they've got 24 seven customer support through email or live chat. So no matter what time of the day or what day of the week you have any issues, you can always contact someone to get help with that issue and get the problem solved quite quickly. So feature number 12 is very underrated in my opinion, and that's the easy to use apps. NordVPN are very focused on simplicity when it comes to their apps, doing things like one click connect, the UI being very intuitive and allowing you access through all the different major platforms, whether it be iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, or even Linux. So no matter what device you have, you're able to get access to the NordVPN apps and made it very easy for everyone to be able to find their way around and use them. So that was NordVPN and all of its combined features. I hope the video did help you and I hope that it provided you with some vital information for you to decide for yourself if a VPN is something that might be beneficial for you or not. Remember there is a link on screen and description box and comments box for that great deal that NordVPN have offered for the viewers of the channel. So if you wanna to go to that, you're gonna get two years plus four months extra free at a very good price. And then you've got that 30 day money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. 
As always, if you've got any comments, leave them in the comments box below. I'll try to answer everything I can. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, share it with friends and family who might be interested in tech or just a VPN service like this video. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.